What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's vlog is going to be a fairly short episode for Vlogmas. We're getting a late start, currently 4.59 p.m. We're gonna get done as much as we can. First thing I wanna do is actually go drive the M3. We are having that DSC malfunction. I saw some comments on yesterday's video that it may just be the system acting up because we had the car running forever while it was up in the air and the battery disconnected, just a ton of stuff. A lot of you guys recommend. So we're gonna go drive the car, thanks to your guys' recommendations, and maybe I'll just go off on its own. We're also gonna be working on the truck today, so I might as well leave both Evos outside because the truck is huge and takes up all the space in the shop. I'm hearing a really, really, really weird noise coming from the M3 right now. We just did rod brings on this car. I don't know if it's something in the bottom end. I'm not gonna run it any longer until we get it up in the air. <sighs> I'm nervous right now. Let's get this thing up in the air and figure out what's going on. I don't know if you guys heard it on camera. It was really weird at first because the, the 10 was running. It was like overpowering the sound of the M3, but this is kind of freaking me out. <laughs> I literally thought this car had a rod knock. It was such a weird noise at first. We have a pretty fatty exhaust leak all of a sudden, which I didn't hear at all yesterday. So that's why I was so freaked out. And the fact that we just did rod bearings. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that exhaust leak real quick. Oh man, I almost, I almost died of fear. can see me but all you guys are right i drove 10 feet out of the shop and the dsc malfunction light is now off and there's a car coming at me and i don't have headlights <laughs> i should probably go back to the shop but yeah we're good no dsc malfunction light brake lights off no rod knock no exhaust leak we ate There is zero point in trying to keep this truck perfectly clean during the winter. This is after driving it for like three or four days after we washed it. So yeah, I'm gonna hose it down just cause I don't like working on something that's this freaking dirty and uh, we can get to wrench it on this truck. Just kidding guys, I couldn't do the whole half-ass wash. I feel like she deserves better. So she's all cleaned up now, looking nice and pretty again. I know it's not gonna stay like that for more than two minutes, but it's okay. We have a table full of goodies and I'm not gonna use some of these goodies. I started messing around. Well, first of all, this is what we picked up. Fog lights, LED, nice square fog lights. And then some actually nice mirror blinkers. These guys will sit right up in there. It'll be a nice fully blacked out look and they are LED. So it's gonna be quite a bit brighter and just overall nicer looking. I don't like how that looks. I will like how this looks. I started assembling one fog light assembly and they do not look good whatsoever. It doesn't look like a completed look. We have the bracket in there and this fog light just sits in there like that. I don't like that look at all. Honestly, it doesn't look completed. When I bought them, I thought the bezel would be like built to surround the fog light. So it'd be kind of hidden, like a factory OEM look, something like that. But yeah, it's not even close. We're not gonna be using those. I know Morimoto, the same company that builds these headlights has a nice set of LED fog lights that fit in the factory bezel. So we're just gonna buy those. I guess all we're gonna be doing today is the new blinkers for the mirrors. That's it. Things don't always go to plan and that's okay. All right, guys, we got one of them swapped out. I don't know why I thought those were blinkers. They're not blinkers. They're just running lights. Looks so much better, especially when they're off. When they're on, they look really, really nice. When they're off is like the game changer though. Just fully blacked out. It's so much cleaner. That amber does not look good whatsoever. Let me show you guys exactly how to swap these out if you have the steam truck. Before we do that, I know Bobby's been having a bad day. 
and I have some car parts here for her that she doesn't know about. I'm gonna FaceTime her, see if she wants to come to the shop so I can surprise her with car parts. Hello? That's my jacket! No honey, it's actually mine. Are you coming to the shop? Do I need to? Yeah. For what? Secrets. Honey, tell me why. You won't yell when you get here. Do you like being free with freedoms? Yes. I understand, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Alright, she's on her way. Let's bust out this other mirror light and then surprise Bobby with some, some carbon fiber goodness. Okay, so it's really quite simple to do. Flop the mirror like that, makes life a little bit easier. We need to pull out the glass. So if you push this top one all the way up like that and just pull on it, she'll pop out. Simple as that. There's three wiring connectors on the back side we need to remove. They all just pull off. Same thing with this lower one. Push it down, get your fingers behind it. Tug on it, she pops off. There's five Torx that we need to remove. Torx head screws, one there, 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 and there. I believe they're all T15. Pop those off. This whole black housing will come off. Now we need to remove the lower and upper case. This lower one has this little sensor right here. We're gonna unplug that sensor. There'll be two clips right there. We're gonna pop those up with the flathead and that'll pop off. The top one, there's four clips and then the top one will slide off. The wiring connector for the light is this guy here. Tug on that, she slides off. Torx head right there, Torx right there. That'll unbolt the light and she'll come out. Light is removed. Here's a little side-by-side -side comparison. That looks nice, that looks poop. Insulation, just the reverse of removal. Bam, done. I've been putting that insulation off right there for like three months, four months. I thought it was gonna be so difficult to do. Five minutes per side, 100% game changer. It looks way better, we're all finished up. If you guys wanna pick up those little lights, I will link them down below. You can't even tell there's lights in there. It's so sick. I'll link them down below, about $150 on eBay. Good old eBay specials, they fit good, look good, perform good. Now before Bob gets here, I'm gonna see if we can't do some chrome delete stuff on the front end. There is the fog light bezel. Now that we're gonna be actually using the OEM bezels. There's the chrome on there that I wanna there's two screws. I forgot two screws. Oops. Two screws to the mirror. They're chilling on my little running boards. I gotta put those on. Um, fog light bezel, chrome, and then the lower bumper like thing, the giant chrome piece on the front end. I wanna start with these little guys right here. I think the chrome part just pops right off of the black bezel. So yeah, let's see if we can't pop those off and get them wrapped up in some gloss black. First bezel is wrapped. My goal with these was to make it look stock, make it look factory. I wanted them to be perfect. I know I could do it with vinyl wrap, so that's why I chose vinyl wrap. In case we ever wanna go back to chrome, which I don't think we will, but in case we do, we can just peel the wrap off instead of painting them and then having to buy new ones. Let's get that guy banged out. This piece right here, I don't really know if I can vinyl wrap that. There's such big recessed areas that it might be kind of tough. I might give it a shot if I have enough black here, but we may have to paint that piece. Bam, wham, bam, chickala cam. Seven? Seven. It literally looks the exact same. What do you mean? Your truck. It, I, cl I cleaned it. I'm blacking it out. You see that chrome bezel that used to be chrome on the fog light? It's now black. This? Yes. Can't even tell I wrapped it because it's so good, huh? Yeah, actually. Are you going to do this too? Yes. Also, look at the mirrors. No more orange poop. I like the orange. For real? No. I was going to say, you're single. Well, don't they make a aftermarket one of those pieces? 
Yes, but I'm broke and I can't afford it, so I will wrap it black. Front end looks sick. All I see now is that chrome piece in the center, which is not Fuego at all. Check this out. She's beautiful now, but that sticks out so so much. It's not okay. We need to do a chrome delete on that, but we have to pull the bumper off for that. Pulling the bumper off is like, you know, not very fun, and I really don't want to do it. And plus, Bobby got here, so hi, Bobby. <gasps> That's my coffee you just spilled everywhere. Uh, I didn't realize. You can lick it off. She almost spilt on my SK tool set. Mm. So tell me about your day. Have you been having a good day or bad day? Bad. Why? Well, you already know why. What if I told you I had a gift for you? I don't want a gift. You don't want a present? Kinda. Let's go, boys. <laughs> <laughs> go upstairs, open the fridge. There's a gift in there for you. Are you make something? I bought something for you. Go get it. Um, the only thing I'm really seeing is the Corona. It's yours. Crack her open. I hate Corona. It's a beer. You don't like a beer? Ah, oh, damn it. <sighs> Bobby doesn't appreciate my gifts. Come back down. I have an actual gift for you. Look, I'm getting pretty quick. I actually have a gift in the shop for you. You just have to find it. What do you mean? What? Are, how big is it? Medium. Okay, <laughs> show me with your hands. Because there's a lot of me medium-sized stuff in here, honey. Medium. Like this? Sure. Or like this? That one. What? <laughs> really? Okay, what area of the shop is it in? Back here? Where they usually are. Am I hot? You're pretty cute. No. Say hot or cold? You're hot as hell. This? What is it? I don't know, but... Here's the deal. Tell me what is it or not. There's actually two boxes for you. Hold on, I want to look. No, 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 you can't look. Oh, this one too? There's two boxes for you. You get to open up one of them. I want both. I want both. Well, why not just the one? So these are both for me? Yes, but you have to open up one. What do you mean? Just this, open it up. This one? Any one. What could this one be? Such a big box. Which one are you picking? I don't know. I want to do both. Okay, you can do both. I can? Yep. How, how long have these been here for? You're the one who brought them inside from outside on the porch. <laughs> for real? Like two months ago. Oh, what the Or heck? a month ago. Should I be more careful than that? Yeah. I literally almost peed myself. That's odd. I can take that out. See, my legs really can't get it open. Need help? Yeah, I need help. It's a front lip. You already have a lip. It's a diffuser. Rip it open. <laughs> Is it a front lip? I can't get it open, honey. Can you can help? Without getting wet. It's a lip. It's a mother freaking lip. I'm kind of scared to run this on the car. Holy moly. She built? Yes. How built? Very built. You have to make a very hard decision. We can put this on now, but if you destroy it in the snow and in the winter, that's all she wrote. What's your decision? I don't have one. I'm not making a decision. Wow. So that lo those long things must be the skirts? No. Yeah, they are. <laughs> are you gonna open it? Yeah. So Bobby got two packages. I said she could only open one, but she convinced me to let her open both. That's the deal. Carbon too. Oh gosh, he's squashy. These are nice. I don't want to put them on my car. Ever? No. These are way too pretty. So for Bobby's car, we picked up a carbon fiber front lip, carbon fiber skirts. There are some window visors and then a third brake light as well. All this stuff is absolutely beautiful. I gave Bobby the choice so we can either put it on right now during winter and probably destroy it all or just wait till springtime when you know it's gonna stay in good condition and I think she wants to wait till spring, which I feel is a pretty smart decision. I'm honestly really scared to put them on. Devin and I were talking about getting carbon skirts and lip for a while. This never cut it is gonna be here. If you guys wanna pick up any of this stuff, wait, let me show you what it looks like first, but if you guys wanna pick any of it up, I'll link it down in the description box below.
All right, guys, that is gonna be a wrap for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed everything that we did today. Will be linked down below. You guys will see all these parts go on Bobby's car in the spring, but you know, she's having a bad day, so I gotta help a brother out. You're about ready to be having a bad day. Rawr. Pace. You said it was the size. That was the size of my pee pee.